Dr. Tamara Zellers Buck is SEMO's Mass Media Department Chair, as well as the Chair of the Porch Initiative, which is an organization striving to empower South Cape Girardeau. Dr. Buck? Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. You're a, you're a busy person, aren't you? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, real quickly, I know we got a couple things we want to touch on. Sure. Um, as, as the as the chair of of the mass media department at SEMO, what does that look like for you? What what does that entail? Uh, well, today it's it's very different than I think it might have been two or five years ago, okay. and that's because media changes so quickly, but higher ed is changing so quickly right now. So um, it entails me doing a lot more recruitment than I would have normally done as a chair in the past. It requires me to really pay attention to what's happening in our industry uh, and ensure that we are nimble enough in our curriculum to give our students the skills they need for tomorrow's jobs. So the department here has been very successful. Um, I know the Arrow is uh, an award-winning uh, paper here. Um, it's it's amazing to see how how things have changed in the media world. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that there has been some changes within the department here over the last several years, but you guys continue to push the envelope. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm very proud of all of our students' success. Uh, we win a lot of awards. You do. You know, <laughs> at the local level, regional level, state level, and even national level. And that is the arrow, of course, for which I'm an alum and a former advisor of. Sure. But also our advertising students in our creative agency, our film students are entering film festivals and entering. We've had a lot of success, and that just shows that we've got a strong curriculum. Looking to the future real quickly, what do you see uh, the evolution of the department here? Uh, it, things move fast. Things move fast and uh, you know I think when we started we actually had a Bachelor of Arts degree so we were much more within the artistic realm. We're still absolutely creatives but we're having to focus on what's happening in the industry and that is becoming more entrepreneurial. So we're adding more business elements to what we do. We're adding more STEM elements. You know, okay. we've got uh, cooperations with the agricultural department, with the uh, unmanned aviation department. You know, and those are places where people would normally not see media going. Sure. But uh, we're using. We want to use drones. We want to think about AI and virtual reality. Those are places that the industry is going. It's certainly where technology is going. We need to be there also. I, you know, the facility that we're in right now, um, yeah. you know, it, what a beautiful facility mm -hmm. uh, that open, opened up several years ago um, and, and the ability to put all, a lot of it all in one spot uh, on Media Row, so to speak, in downtown Cape. Yeah, uh, yeah. the Russ Center for Media, we're very proud of, opened in 2016. I was lucky enough to help uh, design a lot of the elements here. And everything we did was not thinking about right now. It was thinking about tomorrow. Sure. So we made this a very flexible learning facility, but also a professional lab. And I love to have alumni and professionals who are visiting to come through because they are always like, yes, this is exactly the way it should look. And that's exciting considering it opened seven years ago. You're also the chair of, of Porch, um, which is playing such a vital role in South Cape. Where, where did this idea come from? Uh, well, a local philanthropist who did some research and found uh, this model, he was reading, I believe, in the New York Times, uh, but he read about how this community that was the poorest part of Atlanta actually revitalized itself, and it involved a lot of collaboration between school districts and business professionals and residents of the community. So this idea to him was, let's get together a committee of people in South Cape who uh, basically have a vested interest in there and get them to plan how best to revitalize that community. Our uh, watchwords are revitalization without gentrification. So we don't want to make it nice for someone else to live. We want it to become a place that the residents are invested in improving and we attack systemic issues that often exist in poor communities so that uh, South Cape becomes vibrant again. It's a place where people want to live. It's a place where that's contributing to the schools and the business structure of Cape Girardeau. I, I was on the, the website, uh, capeports.org, and uh, a phrase kind of caught me up 
as a quarterback group, I think was one of the phrases. Um, so you're you're there alongside uh, that the community of South Cape uh, to to turn these conversations into positive conversations. Yeah, the quarterback group actually was really uh, involved in structuring the organization, and then we. Uh, I won't say seated control, but we helped to seat a board of directors. And some of the members of the board of directors, including myself, were members of the original quarterback group. So the quarterback group now, those who are not active as board members, exist as uh, advisors who help us to stay true to what our original mission was. And they are very connected as residents of the community. We're expanding to include more realtors, more business persons. Uh, educators. Uh, we're getting those people on the board now. We've just added three new members and the goal now is to really focus on those three pillars of education, cradle to career education, mixed income housing, and health and wellness. So we have to build a bigger board to do all of that work, especially at a systemic level. Absolutely. Um, how long has Porch been around for? Been around since 2016 as an idea. We debuted in the community in 2018 and really organized our board. Now we are a 501c3 with a full-time executive director, Tamika Randall, sure. uh, who's doing a phenomenal job. and. We we are active. You like the progress that you're seeing? I love the process and progress. We've started with a housing initiative now. We're partnering with the uh, public uh, health center as well as the Cape School District. Uh, we've got Lincoln University and SEMO partnerships going. We have a lot of partners because what we want people to know is we are not programmers, we're connectors. So we're connecting the existing wonderful programs in Cape Dorado so that they can be Im implemented in a meaningful way that is uh, resident-centered rather than something being imposed upon the residents. Dr. Buck, we're out of time. Thank you so much. Thank you.